Today we need to get into V recently being shunned from K-pop after something he did in the military. We also have some people talking about a specific weight gain and how it might affect their career going forward. And then we also potentially have V feeling betrayed due to an announcement that was made. So hey dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. The first story is interesting because it's been happening for a little while and people have been sort of freaking out about it and thought it was a little bit funny. So if you're not aware, a long time ago, V was an avid live streamer. He would go on Instagram, he would go on Weverse, and then even before then, he went on VLive. He set a record for even the shortest stream ever on Weverse, as I think he went on live for like a minute at one point, and that really was his platform of choice to connect with his audience. And as he got a little bit more busy, he really stopped doing it, but he would occasionally go on and at some point he wanted to go on with other members so he would see that Jimin or other members would leave comments on his stream and then he would ask them to join the stream with him. And V already made a huge point a long time ago that when other members or other Weverse members leave comments on streams that their comments should be highlighted and bolded so that the person on the stream could see it. And so the platform actually went ahead and added those changes. Now when V decided to request another change, which was when he wanted other people on the platform to also be able to live stream with him at the same time, he requested that it would be a thing. And Instagram already had this thing where you can live stream and then the screen will kind of split and you can see two people at the same time. TikTok also has that feature as well. So it was only about time before this platform should do it. And this is really the best thing to do during a live stream because streams can tend to be a little bit boring since it's not edited and it's not really done in a fancy way. So this is a good way of doing a live stream and being able to split the audience's attention a little bit. So that's a little bit more entertaining, if that makes sense. Recently, one of the newer groups within the labor requested this change. This was Jung Won from Inhypen. And apparently this change has now been added due to his request. And it's believed news sites were reporting that he gets credit for requesting the change because seemingly it seems like once he mentioned the request, it actually happened. As opposed to when V said that, he would like the feature, nothing was added shortly after. And I have a few theories about this because people were getting very upset at Jung Won getting the credit for it as opposed to V since he was the one that actually was the first person to ask for it. And we know that he actually was the first person to ask for it because at the time when he mentioned it, BTS was the only group that was on the platform. Now I feel like a lot of news sites were just saying that in the title that Jung Won got the credit when in reality that might not have actually been true. And Weverse isn't crediting Jung Won. This is no one except these new sites. And so if you're going to be upset at anyone, don't be upset at these platforms, which some people were. Be upset with these new sites for creating drama when there really shouldn't have been any. Because one way they could have reported it was that Weverse first added this new feature and that's it. And potentially give it credit knowing that someone else had already requested it before Jung Won did would be causing drama. The other potential theory that could be true is that when V wanted this feature, he never actually went ahead and submitted a request to the platform or to that department. Maybe he just talked about it on the live stream and then he kind of forgot about it after the stream ended. And he never really formally put it put in that request. Whereas maybe Jung Won did do that and that makes sense to me because V could have been very busy, he could have been sleepy right after and then just gone to sleep, woke up the next morning and just completely forgot about it. While live streaming is something that he likes to do in his free time, it's not something that he would put his priorities to. His priorities would definitely go more towards his performances, learning his choreography and making music and that sort of stuff. So I really do think it's a big possibility that he just forgot to formally request this feature to be added. And it's also important to note that we watch the streams, we take in the words that V says, but there isn't a staff that's like watching the streams that are taking in everything. And among the staff that is watching the stream, it's probably not within the same department that would control the addition of features of a platform. The people that would monitor a stream would probably be the PR team, while the people who would add features to a platform would be more so the engineering or software development team. So no, I don't think he was betrayed, even though that's what people are saying. I think it was probably not really a big deal. And if it was true, what the headlines are saying, I don't think that they would be upset. But a lot of it, I do think it's just the news site saying something that's incorrect. There's been a lot of backlash online and it definitely doesn't help when there are specific stories that could potentially cause more backlash. But one of the most recent backlashes that I thought was a bit crazy was when it was announced that V was joining the Special Forces. And then not only that, he would be participating in a promotional video for the Special Forces. So I guess the promotional video would be to encourage people to join or if it's just a training video, I'm not entirely sure. 
but I don't think the video has been posted yet as I can't find it. But people were very upset by this video. The video apparently would serve as sort of propaganda for the Korean military, and people were upset about this for various reasons. One of the reasons being that V and BTS seemingly didn't want to enlist to begin with, and now they're a part of Korean propaganda or the Korean military is using them as propaganda. There have been many people who have been very upset about this, and I think it's like a betrayal and they're sort of shunning him from being a K-pop idol, or they're sort of unfollowing him and are very upset by this. And I can understand this because a lot of people felt like they were trying really hard to advocate for BTS not enlisting, and the fact that BTS did enlist and then also on top of that are heavily representing the military sort of feels not right. And this isn't a claim of them being disingenuous or anything like that. This is just how people feel. However, BTS has always very much publicly said that they support the military and that they would love to enlist. So them being in promotional videos makes sense because they were already always for it. A lot of us, including myself, sort of put it in our own heads that BTS does not like the military, but they never said that ever. We just kind of inferred that because they would probably prefer to make music. This is also V's way of saying that he actually is a big advocate for the military and he wants to serve in the best possible way. And he doesn't want there to be any question that he doesn't support his country. And so people can get upset at him making this video or being part of propaganda, but I'd say it's big props for him for doing it. And this video is actually going to be such a great thing to be passed along down in history. There's also been the question and topic of him gaining weight in the military, which is very interesting because recently, of course, he has shared pictures of him being very muscular and being very big. And this is natural to expect when an idol joins the military because obviously they're going to gain weight. The military is pushing very vigorous exercises on them and they're also pushing specific diets to make them gain weight. So these are specifically protein heavy diets. But a lot of people have to put in questions as to whether or not V can still be an idol anymore after this like after this weight gain, which I think is an interesting debate. And by interesting, I mean crazy. There were some reports saying that Bang PD said that V was getting so big, he would be perceived more as an athlete than he would be perceived as a K-pop star. And I wholeheartedly disagree because there's definitely a lot of K-pop stars and singers that are very buff and they can look like athletes. If anything, they would be able to attract a whole new audience and demographic looking more grown and less thin. I also don't know if this quote actually did come from him or if it was just made up by people who were making videos. So take that with a grain of salt. I cannot find anything of Bang PD actually saying that, but it was being talked about. People think that the troops in the military as well as the label executives would be upset with V as he is someone who is very much obsessed with his weight and he would talk about the weight and how much he weighed and what his weight goals were and even got mocked for this at different times as people felt like he was putting more effort into how he looked rather than the music itself. But I think that weight is interesting because before the military, the members were expected to look a little bit thinner. They're expected to look very young and that's the demographic that they're appealing towards as they are getting older and they're finally enlisted in the country and the country is aware that they have enlisted, they can start to appeal towards a much older audience and thus look the part by looking older and looking buffer. You know that stuff. I don't think they would get shunned for making music. And I think that they will be welcomed by the same audience. And if not that, then an older audience. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. I'll link down below. Thanks, just leave a comment right here. Love you, bye.